Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. So today we are testing out the new Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. We are doing a full wear test and a first impression on this new drugstore foundation. So if you want to see how well the foundation wears, how well it looks after a certain amount of hours, then just keep on watching. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's very luxurious looking. It's a glass bottle, glass top it looks like. And I don't know, I just really like this packaging. It looks a lot more expensive than it was. So one thing about this foundation that I actually really like is that the application is with a Dofa applicator. So you don't have to squirt out the foundation on your hand or on like a palette and then apply it on your face. You just go directly onto your face. And I picked up the shade LC1. This is the lightest shade that they have in the foundation. So just keep that in mind if you are a little bit more fair than me. I don't know how well this would look on you, but on the Alta website right now, they have 12 shades, I mean, which isn't the best shade range, I'm going to be honest, but it does go from fairly light to fairly dark. It comes in one fluid ounce and it has SPF of 12. So it says it's packed with vitamins and antioxidants for a healthy coverage. It's supposed to brighten, hydrate, and even the skin tone. It's for all skin types and it's ultra buildable, lightweight buildable, <laughs> ultra buildable, lightweight buildable, and breathable foundation. <laughs> Of course, I'm going to prep my skin with the Smashbox Primer Water like always. And then for my primer to like minimize my pores, make me a little bit more matte, I'm going to use the Professional Primer today. I'm testing out the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge. I'm so excited about this one. Oh. And then for my brush today, I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild foundation brush. So I'm going to do the sponge side first. I think this is going to soak up some of the product as well because it's brand spanking new. Right now it is light medium coverage. It did add a little bit extra coverage just because I kind of added a lot. I smell like paint if you go up and smell the Dofa applicator, but like as you're blending it out, I don't really notice that it smells. So surprisingly, we didn't get as much coverage on this side. It kind of sheared it out a little bit more than on the sponge side. But one thing with the brush is it does create strokes in the foundation, I feel like, because it's so liquidy. And this side just feels a little bit heavier and cakier. Like this side, I don't really feel anything with the sponge. But this side, it just feels like kind of like cakey and gross. This Dofa applicator doesn't really hold a lot of product on it, so I have to keep dipping in, which that is one thing that's kind of annoying me. The bottle is getting very dirty. So as you can see right there, it's just kind of like getting all over the top. I feel like eventually it's just going to come all the way down here and there's going to be foundation everywhere. So again, Morphe sponge all over because I just need to stick to sponges. I can't do brushes. <laughs> So this is two layers and I think it looks gorgeous. It definitely is buildable. We have more of like a medium coverage right now. As you can see, it is a luminous foundation. And for my concealer today, I'm just going to use Tarte Shape Tape because I know this is an awesome concealer with any foundation. And this is in the shade Light. And by the way, I think the shade of the foundation is a pretty nice match for me. It might be a little bit too dark, but we can always lighten it up with a lighter concealer in the center of your face. So. And then I'm going to set my face with some Laura Mercier translucent setting powder.
So we're all set, and I actually like the way that the foundation is looking right now. Um, it looks very airbrushed. It's not really emphasizing any of my texture right now, so we will have to wait and see. I'm going to go finish the rest of my makeup off camera just really quickly, and then I will check back in with you guys before we do this wear test. All right, guys, makeup is complete, so I'm back, and right now it is 12.30 almost right on the dot. I'm going to keep this on throughout the whole day, see how well it wears, how well it holds up, if it starts breaking up or not. It doesn't necessarily say that it's a long-lasting foundation, but we're going to put it to the test today because I have errands to run, videos to edit, and food to eat apparently because I'm starving. Right now it looks really gorgeous. I'm actually really impressed with how it looks right now. My skin looks very airbrushed, very just more of like a youthful look to it. And I don't know, I just like the way it looks. feels very lightweight and I mean, I don't have any complaints so far. So I'm going to zoom you in to show you it full on. Rude. looks really even, not really emphasizing my texture at all. That's what I really like about it. So let me know right now how well you think this is going to hold up. Thumbs up if you think this is going to last a good amount of time because I think it is, but you never know. So I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Hi guys, so I'm back. It's currently 7 p.m. So I've had this makeup on for, what, six and a half hours? And I'm ready to take this makeup off, relax, and watch the SU game. So I'm going to end it here because I really cannot stand this makeup on my face any longer. I have to say that my oils did poke through a lot more than anticipated. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can get a full on effect. You know the drill. As you can see, I do look very shiny right in here on my forehead and on my chin. It's usually normal for me with foundations, especially luminous foundations. Those tend to enhance my oils a little bit more. So I'm very not surprised by that. But it hasn't really broken up at all. I think that's the only thing that's really gone wrong with the foundation. My bronzer, highlight, are still popping. It doesn't look that bad around my nose, although it is breaking up right here, but my nose keeps running, so I mean... That's my own problem. So I'm really not disappointed with it. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not just because I do have some better foundations from the drugstore. I'm going to have to give it a few more tries. Just the only frustrating thing for me was that it took two full layers to get it to this coverage. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this foundation wear test and first impression. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.